Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and also an update on our million dollar challenge. So please stay tuned. In the previous video, we did a stock update on Tixamal AQST and also an update on the preference share Tixamal MMTLP. So please refer back to the previous video for updates of those uh, both those uh, stocks before we start today's stock analysis quick reminder of the million dollar challenge so if anybody's not aware of this this is a journey of an investment of one thousand dollars to a return of one million dollars over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing so the objective is to try to achieve 201 trades using an average return in each trade of 3.5 percent and uh, for the challenge, we have a spreadsheet with specially chosen low and medium risk stocks, many with uh, target buy prices. We also have a growing Discord community, well in excess of 300 now, sharing due diligence, trading tips, technical analysis, buy alerts, etc. In the Discord area, you can read an agreement. You can uh, also read our uh, FAQs. You can chat and ask questions, uh, share your buys. The King and Queen alert section is also in there. and. As well as that, you can also check out our latest leaderboard with updates. And once you join us on the journey in this challenge, you'll be able to get access to the, an exclusive um, uh, Discord available only video, which is, looks at in-depth uh, strategy for the challenge. Uh, so details in description below. Today's stock analysis is going to be for Tixamal MMA team, Metamaterials. So before we look at that, let's have a look at the key reason why the market was down quite significantly today across the board and we can see a headline here from yahoo finance global stock markets crash as new covid variant spooks investors so the airline industry was down significantly and also the oil industry as well as many other stocks so let's start by having a look at the technicals for tixamal mmat now in today's market so we, we know many of the stocks were down quite significantly and mmat was not immune to this However, after a very positive Thursday, when the stock did go up quite significantly, we can see the stock today closed at uh, just uh, at $3.90 and down just in excess of 5.5%. However, I think what is interesting in these technicals is the RSI. So we can see the RSI here is uh, 35.37. So that indicates the stock is quite heavily oversold. So fingers crossed, hopefully next week we will see a bounce back and uh, hopefully a strong recovery. I'd like to start by giving a shout out to one of the Discord members who's brought to my attention a significant number of rumours developing with regard to the stock. One of these is referring to a potential partnership with Volkswagen. There are other rumours as well. And he's also stated that institutions are loading up and the Discord member is certainly very, very confident in something potentially going to be happening next week in, with regard to big news. So I'd like to continue with the theme of uh, potential rumours developing and I'm going to now give a shout out to James A. Vincent on Twitter and he's uh, shared a tweet, tweet here which is a reply from a company called Covestro. Uh, so let's have a look at this tweet at the bottom. It states here, uh, the reply is stating here that we have collaborated with Met Metamaterials on the development of our Bayfall HX120 grade used in laser protection applications. Uh, this also has several other grades, one of which we are jointly developing with Wayray. So Wayray is a company I'm going to come back to shortly, but let's first have a look at Covestro. Let's now have a look at this uh, news article here from CNW, looking at the relationship between Metamaterial and Covestro. And the headline here is Metamaterials deepens relationship with Covestro. There is also a multi-year supply agreement providing early access to new specialty materials. So these are... Uh, Materials are going to include target markets, which includes photonics, optical filters, holographic optical elements. We're also looking at laser eye protection and more importantly, AR augmented to reality applications. So the company have been working together successfully for many years and the Meta Air uh, laser glare protection eyewear, which was launched in 2019. This is going to be something that is going to be developed jointly between the two companies. Let's now explore potentially the connection with the uh, Wayray. So I'd like to give a shout out here to Magnetic1111 and he has stated MMAT is this anything question mark and he's also tagged in Wayray. So at the bottom here we can see a response from uh, Wayray and they have said indeed and um, uh, this has been followed up by uh, 
J Miller 5008 and he said looking forward to it meta to the moon and I think what is quite significant here is that Wei Ray have responded and said soon. So let's now continue with the thread this time I'm going to give a shout out to Cornelius Guide and he's uh, stepped in and said whatever you've all planned I'm ready and excited about it let the evolution in eyewear and HUD begin. So again, Wei, Wei Ray have responded and said, uh, thank you for your support. We will not disappoint you. It's a promise. So certainly strong words here. Uh, another shout out now to Scott Muse further below. And he's re replied and tagged in Wei Ray as well. Uh, set it off and meta materials to the moon. What I'd now I'd like to do is just have a look at one more uh, thread from this uh, tweet. And uh, this time I'm going to give a shout out to Ted Lee too. What he stated here is this reply uh, was with total confidence, ticker symbol MMAT, bam. Hus Musk has also stepped in and he said, all these car companies can't with, with all of them, right? Question mark. So you starting your own brand or what? Uh, so Wei Ray again did respond, but what they have said is we can work with all these car companies, but I think what's certainly very interesting here in this tweet from Wei Ray is that they've uh, shared a date and the date here, what they've said is, as for the big news, 29, 11, 12 uh soon so basically um uh, they've although they've tweeted 29 11 12 i'm presuming they mean 29 11 21 so uh, the car companies they've tagged we're looking at audi nissan mercedes toyota kia bentley bmw jeep jaguar honda renault and volvo so many of you now may be thinking, who are Wayray? So let's have a look at the website for Wayray. And the headline here is, we are an industrial deep tech company with a relentless culture that sets us apart. So one thing that they have in common with Meta Materials here at the bottom right, I'm just going to summarize that for you. And that is that our propriety technologies make us leaders in holography and true AR pioneers. And continuing the second part of their website, we can see here they are stating to have the first ever holographic augmented reality display. And what they're saying here is that they are the first company to invent and master the technology for creating a true augmented reality experience for the automotive industry and beyond. The information displayed via Wayray's holographic AR display is seamlessly integrated into the real world at variable depth. No eyewear or headgear needed. So I think that is quite significant. No existing head up display can create such a vivid 3D image. So this is certainly something very promising and the companies they've tagged in again, uh, showing a huge potential. So the only question left is, is there a potential con connection here with Meta Materials? What we'd now like to finish off by is uh, having a look at the latest um, report from Fintel with regard to institutional transactions. And on the screen here, one thing I'd like to share with you here is there were 18 uh, reported transactions for 26th of November 2021. But what's certainly interesting here is 17 of them were, were showing an increase in uh, holding of shares. One of them reported no change in holding of shares. But uh, if we have a look at the one highlighted in green, uh, there was an ETF that invested in Meta Materials. And we can see here that what's interesting about this ETF, this ETF is known as FOMO ETF. And finally, just to finish off, uh, one thing I'd like to say is that everything we've looked at here is certainly a rumor. It's uh, something that is very interesting. I think it's also something that is generating a lot of media interest. Potentially, there could be something in this. What we will have to do is uh, wait and maybe next week on the 29th of November, as Wei Ray have tweeted, uh, there is going to be some news, there is going to be an announcement, we don't know what that announcement is. The other thing is certainly what we're waiting for is uh, dividend news, I think that is getting closer and closer. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there's some good news on that for us as uh, investors. So thank you very much for watching, please stay tuned.